Hi, my name's Simon, and this video will be going into Dovetail. It's a user research tool that we use within our product team to um, really kind of systematize and get uh, a repeatable process around our user research. Um, when we're doing that all in the same way and we can all access the same information, it really makes that retrieval and that using those, uh, those insights from, from user research in making good product decisions. So let's dive right in. So you can see here the homepage for um, uh, for Dovetail. We've got the, they kind of tell us what it is. It's a data analysis platform, a research repository, and a way to collaboratively do research as I was talking about just a minute ago. Um, really, really important that, um, you know, everyone could be doing their own thing with videos and folders and, and this and that. But uh, I've found through using Dovetail, it's a really easy way for our teams to just have a space which is intuitive and, and they can get to the, the customer verbatim really, really easily. So when you log in, you will be shown this space. So you will basically have a home here where you can see all of your new insights, but the really important part, we wanna click into projects and they've got a few example projects here. So when you actually do log in, you will see um, uh, you know the same thing and you can you know, click around when you sign up for a sample account. So let's go into, uh, airline seat reviews, for example, this could be a um, a research project that you've you've spun up with your team. But the way that we do this is first we have the homepage where you try and really describe what you were trying to achieve uh, in that research project. Then the next section is data. So this is where it's kind of more like that Kanban view of um, all of the. Um, uh, really you can define how you want to do this. As you can see here, they've got Aeroflot, Air Berlin, Air AG, and they're, they're actually organizing it by the different competitors that may be or the different um, uh, experiences that the user might be going through. If I was to go back here to another project, for example, app usability, um, they've got welcome sessions, etc. You could even use this as a uh, to-do in progress done to make sure that you're getting through the user interviews in a, in a, in a good way. But let's go back to... Uh, airline seat reviews. In fact, why don't we just go to video interviews? So here's some interviews that have already been um, which have already been created. Um, and what you're going to be doing is this: when you add data here, you can add it via a blank note, video, audio, image, or upload a file. So really, you know, it is built for any sort of um, data you want to bring into the platform but uh, really where it shines is video. So let's let's click into that. So this is an example of a an interview. Um, it opens up kind of like a, a Notion uh, wiki page, which is fantastic. And what the key part here is you update, upload your, um, your video and as it'll transcribe all that text, it allows you to specify who's speaking and then it will kind of classify the entire um, video like that and this is the really cool part, and this is the part that I find really amazing, is that when you find a piece of information which is really, really important, for example, okay, just shifting gears a little bit, I can then tag that against certain activities, behaviors, motivations, tools, whatever it is, but you can define these in a minute. Typically what we've done is uh, tagged against uh, user journeys or, or features, and also at the same time, you can tag multiple things at once. So if I wanna tag this as meetings, but then I want to tag it as motivations, learnings as well. I can put two of those there. So you can actually have different dimensions to the quote, which is fantastic. I can say, this is a quote about this feature and the person's feeling positive, or I'm having this, fe they're talking about this feature and they're upset. It allows us to slice the data later to say, show me all the stuff that made people happy. Show me all the stuff that made people upset. Show me all the stuff about this particular feature and so on. Um, but the, uh, the video then is cut. So when I actually click on any particular area, you can see here, it's gonna load the video just directly from that point, which is fantastic. Because when we actually get to the point a bit later, we'll be able to just directly go to those pieces or that customer verbatim. So really what I'd do is I'd upload this video, I would go through the transcription, I would highlight all the key parts, essentially processing it. Um, I can open that as a page and minimize it if I want or share it. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be going through one by one and, and making those edit, making those uh, highlights. Once I've done that, I'll take that obviously and maybe put it to a done state. Um, but then once I've uh, done that, I'll go to highlights. Before we get there though, 
um, let's take a quick look at tags. So really your tags are free for you to structure in any way that you want. So I could have this tagged as emotions, as I was talking about before, or let's call it reactions. And I go happy, sad, angry let's just make up a few excited so even then i can talk about the 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 range of emotion whether someone was just okay yeah, this is cool versus this is so amazing i'm so happy about this um that could really be a, an important part of your um of your research process but once i've tagged all those elements i can just come down through here to highlights and i can see all of the quotes with all of the video, specifically where it was cut, um, what they were actually, what tags I, I, I put to that. And I can start then actually selecting a whole bunch and adding that to a particular insight. So I'll do that now. I'll call that insight, uh, new insight, for example. We'll get to the insights tab in a second. We're just going down, um, down this list here. Eventually, I can see from a charting point of view, what's the most uh, uh, prevalent tags, um, whether they're by um, activity, tool, behavior, motivation. Like I could just say, okay, show me all, for example, all the excited, or let me get rid of all these. Time tracking. Let's actually get rid of all these for a second. Because you can, it shows you, you can actually get quite detailed on what you're looking for. So show me this, 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 and this. I'm only interested in those things. Um, and then you can actually save these charts and use them a bit later if you really wanted to. Um, I can see that as a pie chart, a tree map, all the things that people are really interested in. Um, this is just really cool. I really like this. Um, can use note count, highlight count, and even text volume. Okay. Uh, now, the inside is what I was talking about before is because all this has been driving towards we have our we have our um, our videos or interviews, we have process them, we've got some sort of understanding of the tagging. So what does that all mean? Well, it means we can finally create an insight. And you can imagine what we were talking about before. This is my new insight that I, I showed you earlier with all the key information. Let's assume, for example, in that airline seat reviews thing we just saw, we did a whole bunch of research across a whole bunch of different competitors um, or different customers, for example. And we want to include all of the different customers' point of view into a insight about how different customers perceive the same feature. I can do that here. I can take various different pieces of video and, 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 um, and quotes here, and I can actually write up some sort of research paper and I can publish to the rest of the organization say this is what the information that we found about work, uh, when working with their, all these clients or with all these interviews. I can turn that into, I can edit that, I can eventually publish that, or I can, I can put this into a presentation mode, which will make it much easier for people to um, kind of consume, or you maybe you would be showing this during a, a meeting. So that's it. I mean, you can see here another example of some of the uh, insights that we could put together. Here's some interviews, evidence. Um, maybe I plot in some sort of chart that I've created before to kind of back up my research findings. Um, but it, it really, I think the important parts for me is it's very straightforward. Um, it's easy to understand how I add video, I read the transcription, I tag it in certain places, and I can actually start if I using my if I'm using kind of a customer centric view in my roadmap, I can actually start sharing these out directly and having people click through and actually hear that customer verbatim straight away. Um, if we're talking about documentation tools, what if I put all those into a page, which I can, by the way, um, if you look like that, all of the quotes about this documentation tools, I just take that, I take it in a link, I put it into whatever document, roadmap tool, whatever it is, I hit paste and there I've just clicked through and I see all of the information about um, uh, documentation tools ready to, to be 
consumed. So that really straightforward approach to, you know, adding your data, classifying it, transcribing it, getting an aggregate view, and then finally actually producing synthesizing something of worth to your organization is seems very straightforward. And the big, big, um, big, big step forward for us, especially in, in systematizing our user research. So the final bit, which I found really, really cool is that they actually do have very good Zapier integration. So if, for example, if I created this insight, they have a Zapier hook, which says um, every time an insight's created, do something with it. So what we're doing is we're taking any new insight that would be created here and putting it directly into what we use product board considering they have the same component of insights. They will the same concept of insights. You take your insights, you put them into your roadmap and you can already see this is creating a fantastic line of sight between customer research, product road mapping, and the way that product product board connects to Azure DevOps or Jira. You see a direct line of sight from research through to feature through to delivered epic or, or story or whatever it is. So um, that's a little bit more about um, uh, Dovetail. Um, hope you give it a try. It's been certainly, you know, I think it's a really great tool and um, a lot of great companies using it to really provide a more systematized way to your user research and um, really bring that customer voice into your product decisions. So thank you for your time. Hit the like and subscribe if you want to hear more and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.